My name is Jean Schaller. My maiden name is Weiss, and I was born in Dixon, Illinois, back on May 13, 1932. And I am Patricia Weiss Barron, and I am the eldest of three. And I remember when Jean was born. That was quite an event. Jack was born May 31st in 1926. So they were about 14 months apart. And so it was always Jack and Pat and baby Jean. And so when baby Jean came along, I'm sure I was a surprise. And what were your parents' names? John Nelson Weiss and Lucille Ralph. They truly had a, I mean, it was just a wonderful, wonderful time living in Dixon. And where were they born? That's a good question. Daddy was born in the territory of Oklahoma before it was a state. And they were both born in 1896. Mother was born in Cuba City, Wisconsin. And she lived on a farm called Fairview Farm in Cuba City. And she was the next to the youngest, but there were seven kids in her family. Did your parents go to college? Daddy went to the University of Illinois. And mother went to Lawrence College in Appleton, Wisconsin. Tell us about their love story. How long did they date before they got married? Well, I think it must have been just about two years because I know that they were married in August of 1923. And I did find her record of their honeymoon, which was really quite amazing because, but, and this is fun too, Pat, she said that John looked like a real groom of sterling worth, and Lucille was so sweet and lovely, a real blushing bride. <laughs> that kind of sounds like mother, but, <laughs> but they did. And there's a picture in here that is so neat of their the car that they took, they took a honeymoon drive to Saugatuck, Michigan, which, I mean, that was quite In those a ways, days, yeah, that was unusual. And it, this is the picture of the, of the, I mean, it looks like the old tropical, triple, I mean, you know, it, double A Ford. I think we need to tell it about Ronald Reagan being daddy's, in daddy's class, because that was our claim to fame back then. That is so true, and Ronald Reagan was daddy's student. And even back then, the teachers had to teach something besides the subjects they loved, so <clears throat> daddy had to teach civics. And he said, well, Ronald Reagan was a big time radio announcer in Des Moines, Iowa. And he would come back to the school and walk through the halls, you know, and daddy would see him and say, hey, Ronald, Come teach my civics class. We let them know the kids could go graduate. Should graduate so they can be a big time guy in a big city. Did you two ever travel together uh, when you were in your no. You were young? No, we really didn't. Cause, um, yeah, we really. One didn't. was going to school, or one was working, or yeah. something. You know. <laughs> so I was in Pat's wedding, and then um, when I got married in '55, then. Um, that's, yeah, we Sandy, never really did Sandy go Sandy was a, a flower girl. That's at, right. At, at your wedding. And, and oh, I remember in Dixon, yeah. Illinois, okay. the milk was delivered and it put in an insulated box that was um, attached to the house. Yeah, right by the back That's door. Right. Right. That's right, by the back door. How often would they bring ice for your ice box? The oh. ice went right at the top of your ice box. I mean, it truly was an ice box. Is there anything we haven't covered that you want to tell I us know, about? I can't I think of anything, think can so. you? I think I've covered as no much. No more confessions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that's all this house can stand. <laughs> the ones that have been given up.